Hey there, this is Cindy from Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. I'm coming to you from beautiful Central Florida. Uh, this is my update for my Advent calendar from Hobie, as well as my scrap yarn swap December for uh, what I'm doing with Sherry's Bag of Holding. Okay, it's been a few days. I'm a little bit behind, but I had a busy weekend. Uh, let's see. I think I'm starting on the 10th. I got the 10th through the 13th to do here. Okay. So, let's open December 10th. And that's the pretty sparkly white. And it's pretty. I like the sparkles in it. I like all the colors she's been giving me. December 11th. Is the sparkly blue. Love it, love it. And let's see, December 12th is, let's see what color this one is. Sparkly silver. And then December 13th, that's today, Monday. Whoa, you guys just celebrate Christmas, it's only 12 days away. And then we're back to the sparkly white. Hey, hey. Thank you, Sherry. I've been working on making my little um, diamonds out of it. And I think I'm uh, soon I will be starting to put these together to make my table runner. I'm going to start with the blues and go out from there. So it should be pretty. Anyhow. I'm not keeping up. I'm keeping them all in a bag though and get getting there as I can. So I'll pop those in. And then we're on another new week for um Advent week three. This month is going way too fast. Okay. Now, I will say I did open this ahead of time just to take a peek. Just take a peek. And I did look up that. I'm sorry, you guys. I have been so tired lately. I don't know if it's a mix of medication I'm on right now. But, oh, my gosh. I've been starting nodding off by you know, 8 o'clock. So, anyhow. And then I sleep until 10. So, oh. so, this week's. I really think this is some pretty yarn. Um, you've got, first off, um, there's some handmade labels that you can use, sew on your stuff, um, there's also moisturizing, um, serum with hyaluronic, um, acid in I use something like that from, um, um, Bath and Body Works. I like the Hyaluronic. Oh, look at these. Purdy. A lot of times I give these away, but I'm keeping those. Those are purdy. I like copper stuff. Okay, to the yarn. I just think it's so pretty. This is the uh, Zephyra, which is 55% uh, cotton, 27% wool, and 18% acrylic. Uh, each one is, let's see, 164 yards. I believe this is a, uh, I think this is a number three weight. Uses um, a U.S. J-hook. So, um, yeah, product of Denmark. Oh, they got it down as a number four. It's very skinny for, I'd say this is more like a DK weight, but... It's a really pretty, um, kind of, um, tweedy pink. And then they also included in here, there's three skeins of the Zephyra in this pink, and I don't know if it's got a name. Let's see. No, it just says color number 17. Okay. And then with it, there are some thread, 100% polyester thread. I would almost call this a blending filament, um, if you do... Embroidery, a lot of times you'll use this. 
It says Party Deluxe Glamour Thread with Sequins. Interesting. Now I used something similar to this by um, Ice Yarns and I found it extremely itchy. So I ended up taking it off. But these are pretty small. The sequins are teeny tiny. I'm not going to open it up because this stuff has a tendency to go all over the place. I mean, it, try and it doesn't stay um, wound. Okay, so the pattern they had for the crochet part of it is a, is a neck warmer. Let me see if there. I think it's not very attractive. Um, it reminds me of something you'd wear over a clown costume. Maybe not that bad, but um, I know in the olden days women used to attach collars over their clothing. Like what do they call them? A ficu? I don't know how you pronounce it. Ficu. Um, but anyhow, I don't like it. I'm not going to use it. I'll probably uh, hang on to it for the time being. This might be a pretty shawl if there's enough here. I don't know. That's not a lot. Of, uh, not a lot of. Not a lot of your waist. Maybe I could use it to make a scarf. Uh, who knows? But I will hang on to it because I think it's a lovely yarn. But it's, they said the pattern that's with this week is not mine. And I'm afraid if I made a um, cowl, it would be too itchy. So we'll see. Maybe a nice hat and just hang on to the um, stuff with the sequins in it for something else. So um, what else is going on? Oh, I'm going to make something for my sister and I got to be careful about whose hands this uh, video goes through. I got it set up as a, an adult video, but the... Um, the pattern I picked out is kind of adult, so I, um, I'm kind of hesitant on putting this out there, but I'm going to show you. Um, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I thought that was cute. My sister's got a very warped sense of humor. Um, even worse than mine. Um, I don't usually talk about naughty things but i thought that was so cute i have another version of another form of a pattern for that piece of the anatomy that was put out by miguel if you watch uh tiktok miguel crochets on there he's got one he made that's a little bit bigger i, I even thought about doing mine out of my uh hold the um, 8-4 cotton and then um, you know make it it smaller but I think I'm gonna make it out of the worsted weight and uh, I'm gonna I can't decide if I'm gonna put it with the hat or the heart probably the heart I don't know I could send her a wardrobe of hats to wear with it like a cover for it I'll be I noticed the one that they made for the hat looks like a rolled up um, condom. <laughs> Anyhow, I mean, I think I would just make the heart to go with it. Um, she that's pretty kooky. I'm uh, I had a giggle when I saw it. Um, I haven't made any more progress on anything. Um, my um, my socks are in the same spot they were last week. I'm still contemplating what to do with this yarn for this, uh, for the, um, oh, from this one here from Ditastic Yarns. Um, a couple possibilities I came up with. I did buy the, um, what did I do with it? Wickedly Handmade has some, a couple of really good, um, patterns and I'm I think I'm gonna do the wild wisteria shawl um and do it um the big as big as I can get it with all those yarns because this is a pretty generous um pattern so I would kind of like to do that the other option I had was also by um wickedly handmade 
Um, and that was the Wild Oleander hooded scarf. Now, as cold as I am all the time, I don't know if a, a cowl or hood would be good for me or not. Because, you know, um, I wear a, I do wear a, um, I do wear a shawl all the time when I'm at home. Only because I'm, I'm cold. And I just love, love, of my Lost in Time shawl. I made it out of, um, Mandela Sparkle. And, uh, you know, I've been wearing this for over a year now and it's, it's got some peeling, but not really bad. Like I said, I sleep in it all the time. Or I wear it on the house when I'm cold. Which is what I'm right now, doing right now. Um, my boyfriend gave me a uh, a warmy thing, a uh, snuggly thing to sit in when I'm in the living room. It's a, um, it's got a blanket, and then it, and it's got down at the feet. It's got a built-in foot warmer and vibration. So that feels really good on my feet, and um, it's actually too warm for me. Um, but um. I like it. I like it a lot. So I guess that is it. Um, I haven't done any sewing in a couple weeks. But I need to. Um, I've got my next doctor's appointment with orthopedist next month. Hopefully I'll get this ball rolling on my hip, hip replacement. And I'm hoping that... Um, once I recuperated from that, I can go back to gardening and work in the yard. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be uh, yawning. Okay, I guess I'm going to call this an, a done deal. I will see you again soon. And um, happy stitching and I will see you later. Love you. Bye-bye.